And we're back. This is CILP on radio, your EdTech advisors on air. EdTech Talks. Ayan, so habang uh, si Ma'am so, Lani ay nagpapasin. Ito tayo eh, kasasabi lang, explore, seek, and swim. Yes. Nalunod na ako, sir. Okay, so itutuloy po natin ang ating pang ilan na po yan, sir? Pang-anim. Ah, oh, pang-lima. Pang-lima. So, deep diving. Deep diving. Approaches that foster deep learning. Okay, so palalim tayo ng palalim, no? From the title, oh. deep diving. Huwag lang po masyadong malalim, baka tayo malunod. This team looks at technology enhanced learning on graduate attributes, no? Will, uh, ano, um, ano to? Will lang yun, sorry. W-I-L. W-I-L and deployability, including fostering deep learning for 21st century skills. It includes our graduates as entering a world that is increasingly global, increasingly mobile and focused on job jobs that are yet to be created and graduates will need a deeper understanding of these new skills experience and application how they demonstrate and evidence success so dito parang manalim na no tinitingnan natin so we're not looking at the present uh, student situation but also ano bang hinaharap ng mga estudyante ito paano natin nakikita ng mga estudyante ito ay may future because of our ways of teaching and then, no? especially sa mga strategies na pinapakita ng teachers sa classroom set Tama ba, sir? O deep diving? So, <laughs> oh, malalim na. Mali yung paghahanda to sa oh, ating mga graduates. graduates. So, kasi eventually, yun naman talaga, doon naman talaga sila pupunta. Kasi baka mamaya ang mapuntahan nila, very high-tech na company, no? Mm-hmm. And, and then, we're not preparing ano, them for that. Especially mga ITs natin. Oo. Di ba? Lalo na ngayon na... So big challenges talaga na kailangan mas ala, mas advanced ang kanilang matutunan. Mm-hmm. Yung mga companies ngayon, pag kumukuha sila ng mga magtatrabaho sa kanila, hinahanap nila yung hindi na kailangan i-train na mga skills-oriented na rin po talaga. Oo. Tatanungin ka, ito kaya mo ba ito, kaya mo ba ito. Pag kaya na, tapos yung isa, hindi pa, pero iti-train mo pa ito, mas makakatipid ka kung yung kukunin mo ay Tama. Alam na. So, dapat dito pa lang sa school natin na alam na yun. Ano ba hinahanap ng mga companies? And we will prepare our students for that. And babanggit, nabanggitin nila yung 21st century skills. Mm-hmm. Yung 5-6. 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 Yung 5-6.
Kaya tayo level 4, yung level ng ano, level 4 ang university, level 4 din. So dapat level 4 din, ano? Yes. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kanta niya ito, mga nagmamanage dito sa Adrian FM, hindi yan mga staff na ano, oh, studyante oh, yan. Yeah. Diba? Oh, oh. Mga magagaling. Kaya At saka sa pansinin ninyo, yung mga iba nilang report din dito, ano, yeah. mga nagra-radyo, kala mo talagang professional, professional. na. Kasi mm-hmm. nangangasa talaga sila. At dito yeah. pa lang sa school setup, meron na silang exploration. Yeah, may opportunities so, sila. May opportunity na, na sila. Kaya maganda na nasa lasal sila, free man din. Kaya maganda na nasa lasal, na kayo maganda mo. Yes. <laughs> Kasi nandito Apl- talaga. Uh, online application is now open. Okay. Using yeah. our new website, yeah, UPM yeah, yeah. Enroll. Uh, uh, Wag na mo ibago tayo yung website. Yeah. Ang ganda ng bagong website. Uh-huh. So lahat talaga mag-develop sa inyo pag nasa lasal kayo. Kasi hindi lang uh, from head to toe talagang lahat. No? Pa- paano Holistic, kayo marap yes. sa mga tao. So meron pa kayong community, mm-hmm. outreach activities, and etc. And number six. Number six. Exploring foreign shores. Advancing cultures of innovation. Ako, masarap ito. Parang magpupunta ba sa ibang bansa? Creating oh. <laughs> cultures of innovative practice in the tertiary learning and teaching landscape is a way of fostering dynamic and progressive change. It is a means by which sustainability of innovative educational practice sense can be conceptualized and established. It also encompasses new educational technologies as well as global reach of our offerings. Effective innovation builds staff capability, resilience, and agility in the era of rapid change. More, and and more on, uh, yes, cross-cultural. And, and also more on research na paano masustain natin yung paggamit ng EdTech. Sa so, magitan ng pagbabahagi ng mga karanasan, ng mga kaalaman sa research siguro sa ano uh, when we for example sa salita sa nagpresent uh, tayo ng paper sa isang conference o sa isang congress or uh, forum doon natin na ibabahagi yung kaalaman natin yung karanasan natin sa ating school at kung yung iba naman ay nagbabahagi din ng kanilang karanasan nagkakaroon tayo ngayon ng culture of innovation mm-hmm. ayan pagbabahagi na sharing of uh, parang ano yan yung Best practices. Uh-oh. And then yung research din. So that's how we can sustain. Kasi kung walang pagbabahagi na, ewan ko lang kung masustain ba natin yung... Kasi pwede rin ma-adapt yun eh, ng some school. No? Yes. Kapag sa sharing, ah, pwede pala yun sa school, no? Eh, mm-hmm. ano, magkakaroon ng idea na applicable pala rin ito sa amin. Yeah. So, At kung tayo mag... Uh, when we advance in our learning and teaching, we also help others advance in their own. So we, we don't just grow on ourselves. Kundi yung iba rin. We help them grow. So, and last, sir? And last is checking the gauges. Measuring learning and advancing impact. So evidence-based practice is key in a globally competitive environment. So measuring learning with digital tools can contribute to monitoring progress for our students and ourselves as much as the data from other formal and informal mechanisms helps steer our way. So dito papasok yung learning analytics. Yeah. Ayan, meron sa school book tayo, sir. We are actually... Sabasin ko na, tuwag-tuwag na dun sa mga... So, ano. Gusto ko yung mga uh, demo. <laughs> gusto ko yung trabaho ni Ma'am. Yung mga actually, gusto ko siya. Gusto ko siya. Sa'yo kung kaliwara kayo, sa'yo kung kaliwara kayo, sa'yo kung kaliwara kayo, sa'yo kung kaliwara kayo, ano siya, Pero matutuwa ako. Pero makaka, ano sir, no? marami kang matututunan. Sa'yo. Ang daming analytics kasi sa school book. Ang dami na oh, produce Class so, level, school level. To all the teachers who are watching, we will be submitting a report to everyone. <laughs> sino po nag- through your sino uh, respective Sino po ang nagda-download ng syllabus sa hindi? Oo, <laughs> nakikita yun. Tapos may, may corresponding <laughs> points Upload siya. Diba? Oh, Malalaman mo kung anong level mo. Because oh. to be honest naman talaga, ito yung pinag-uusapan sa office. Some, there are some faculty who are trained at a certain level but are not doing Di ba? Yes. Hindi ina-apply. Yeah, kung anong natutunan nila. Siguro, hindi natin alam. Baka walang opportunity to apply. Pero there's the training. Another, meron hindi nag-train, pero nakaka-apply. Uh-huh. So, parang may yeah, ano, self-talk. May self-talk. Uh-huh. Di ba? Na mas, ano, so, okay. so, gumagawa kami ng, ng policies programs kung paano ma- ma-credit itong mga, kung bakit hindi mo na kailangan mag-train, automatically, bibigyan na namin ng, ng certain level, level of certification. Oo, uh-huh. tama. Para mag- Kasi, ma- surprisingly, ha, I was surprised in my department, nagulat ako, may teacher na never nag-train kahit anong level zero, pero, okay, pero nakapag-embed ng video sa, sa school book, <laughs> tsaka nakapag-rubric. 
Di ba? Oh, Tapos in-interview mo siya, oh. bakit, bakit, paano, yun, nag-self-explore siya. So nakakatawa yung mga ganong faculty, no? Oo, oh, ganun naman. And I believe meron niya mga ganyan-ganyan cases sa lahat ng mga departments or mga colleges. Oo, oh, I'm sure na meron, meron mga hindi dumaan ng training. Oh, pero oh. ginagamit nila yung school book. Yes. Oh. Explore, explore lang, sir. No? Click lang, parang cellphone lang na lang yan. May, may oh, bago ba cellphone. Ayun pala, pag-screenshot. Ayun pala ang pag Ganun pala dito, dito pala, para mag-upload. Paano ang selfie? Well, there's really a good, ano, kasi we are using the world's best uh, learning management system. Oh, learning system. management system. Yeah. Yeah. BOLMS. Oh, yeah. very ano 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 ang tawag nito. Sinasabi ko kay Lester, friendly. 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 Uh, oh, yes. friendly. Yes. Yes. interactive. I've tried using different learning management systems. Sabi ko, the best pa rin talaga itong ginagamit dito sa uh, sa atin. So, nakakatuwa na ako. Hindi ko alam babanggitin yung iba. Um, <laughs> uh, ano, ano siya? Uh, I'm proud that we have this learning management system oh, yeah. that we're oh, using. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. so, so, malaki ang benefit dito sa mga students. Oh, oh. Tapos yun nga, yung learning analytics, ang nagagawa naman nito, malalaman din natin kung ano na yung epekto ng ating uh, edtech. Yeah. So, we're, we're advancing our teaching and learning. Kaya magandang malaman na saan na tayo, okay. anong level na. So, what would be the impact of using uh, technology in teaching? Yes, oo. Kaya mag- malaga yung papel ng learning analytics. So, yun yung seven, sir, no? Binanggit na natin. Yun na yung panguli. Opo. Oo, oh, that's our last topic. Yun ang pamasko natin kasi mas, December mas na yun. Mas maano, opo, December na nga. December na yun. <laughs> Sana na, opo, hindi ito maabutan na ang Christmas party. Kasi <laughs> doon, siya, doon mag-report yung expert na in-invite natin sa oh, 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 party ng mga faculty. Ayun. <laughs> Live tayo doon sa party. Yes, sir. Oh. Very good. Okay. So to sum up. So, balikan natin. Ano na ulit yung uh, pitong topics natin. Uh, mag-uumpisa nga pala next week. Apo. October 12th. The, the start is actually the alternative and out of the box thinking. Okay. That's on October 12th. Okay. The second one is avoiding the rocks, lessons learned from failures. And the third is new ways of moving, pedagogies and practices. And the fourth one is sink or swim, improving digital literacy. The fifth one, deep diving, approaches that foster deep learning. And number six is exploring foreign shores, advancing cultures of innovation. And the last one is measuring learning and advancing the impact of online education. Ayan. Ayan. So, sana subaybayan nyo ang aming uh, EdTech talks.